Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. In this verse, Jesus commanded his disciples and us to be wise as serpents. The word wise is the Greek word which means prudent, careful, cunning, discerning, thoughtful, intelligent, or sensible. This word perfectly depicts the behavior and actions of the snakes. They are very careful, discerning, intelligent, and prudent in how they act. It is fact that Jesus told us that we need to be as wise as serpents. There's obviously something Jesus wanted us to learn from the behavior of snakes. If you're squeamish about serpents and snakes, stay with me for the next moment so you can get the full impact of what Jesus was telling us. Remember, Jesus is the one who chose to use a serpent to make this point. So let's consider the behavior of serpents for a moment and see how this relates to us being wise in the way we live our lives. First, when serpents move into a new territory, they don't announce their presence. Instead, they lay low, stay quiet, and blend into the environment. As snakes evaluate a new situation, they see what kind of opportunities are in the area. They identify places of shelter, they find hiding places to protect themselves from the attack. They observe and see where they can find the easiest prey. When all these facts are assimilated, the serpent is ready to act, and Jesus said there is wisdom in a serpent's behavior from which we need to learn. Lesson. When God tells you or me to do something new, it is wisdom for us to move carefully into that new phase of our lives. A common mistake is to act too fast. Acting hastily before all the facts are gathered and assimilated can lead us to make erroneous decisions. In fact, one serious mistake can cause us to lose an opportunity altogether. It's better to lay low, stay quiet, and blend into the environment for a while, learning from the sights and the facts we observe. Second, Serpents are wise enough to know when to seize the moment and strike. Knowing when to act is as important as knowing when to lay low. When prey passes before a serpent, that serpent knows it's time to strike. If the snake waits too long, the opportunity will pass and the prey will reach an irretrievable position. Lesson. When it's time to act, Put your fears and emotions aside and seize the moment. I have seen so many people pray and pray for divine opportunity to come to them. They wait for that golden moment to come and at last it does. A great door of opportunity stand directly in front of them. It's time to act, but rather than seize the moment and walk through that door, they pause just a little bit longer. God brought them exactly what they had been waiting for, but because they paused, they lost the opportunity. When they finally got around to saying, yes, it was too late. You and I are not brilliant enough to figure out the right timing for everything by our own logic. So be very careful not to move too fast, and be careful also not to delay when the time is right to act. Open your heart to the Spirit of God and let Him begin to teach you when to lay low and when to strike. Thanks for watching this video. Share and subscribe for more amazing inspiration.